Hey you guys, it's Michigan Mobile again and I'm back with a couple of hints, tips, and tricks. Uh, I stumbled upon some uh, some goodies here. First of all, we'll start off in the music player. Go to your factory music player or stock music player, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to go down to one of these where I got some album art. Um, give you guys some old school. How about some Wu-Tang? Yeah, I got a little music on here. Hold down. You get an option to play, or you can add to a playlist. You can delete it, or you can search. I'm going to hit play. I took the Beatles and the Wu-Tang Clan. Now you hear it playing, and if you have album art, your album art will show up. If you click on the album art, you'll get visualization. And that's pretty hot for a phone. So you get visualization as your music's playing, which is just a nice little touch to the music player. Uh, if you dig a little deeper, go down to the options, you'll see a new option in there called audio effects. So go down to the audio effects, and you see you got wired stereo devices and phone speakers. If I click on the wired stereo device, which would be your headphones, Hold on, let me uh, let me pause this music so I'm not yelling. So if you go back in the audio effects and wired stereo, you have you see you have a choice to enable effects profile, surround, and equalizer. This is all new for Android uh, media players. Um, if you go in the effects profile, you got some choices here. You can do 3D stereo, home theater live stage and custom. I have mine on custom because that leads to the second set of settings. You can have live, wide, ambient, or off, and I see I have that off right now. And then if you go down to the last one, it's your equalizer. They're all preset, but it really makes a difference. I'd have to say out of all the Android phones I've used so far, this phone has the best audio quality. People may not know that this is actually there in the menus. So I actually have mine at Bass Punch, and it gives a little definition of what each one does down there. Uh, sounds great through headphones. I'm going to go back, and you see there's another selection for phone speaker. And uh, you get an e equalizer profile, and it just offers you the extreme bass, bass punch, balance, brilliant treble, vocalizer, or off. And I have mine on uh, brilliant treble. So that's the, uh, the little hint or tip in the music app. Now I'm going to exit out here and I'm going to scroll over to my gallery. Found something that was kind of cool. Well, like I showed you in a previous video, you could edit videos. Well, you can also edit pictures, but uh-oh. Let me go back here. I found something else that kind of blew me away. Yet again, and something else that was new for an Android phone. So I'm going to go to this uh, picture of this flower that I took. Actually, first picture that I took when I got the phone. Rotate that over for you. Um, if you hit your menu key, see menu pops up again. You got camera, quick upload, share, edit, delete, and more. So I'm going to hit on edit. You got tags, rotate, and then go into advance. When you hit advance, now you see I have Pixay Pro installed. You see Photo Workshop and a little install icon. So you click on Photo Workshop. Now this software is part of the phone. Uh, I didn't notice this before, but this is actually part of the phone, so this will come on their stock. You got brightness and contrast, color and saturation, effects, Resize, crop, text, clip art, stamp tool, frames, and flip. I'm just going to click on effects here so you can get an idea. Comes up with effects, and you get the same kind of settings that you have in your camera application. So you just scroll side to side and you can change the effects. That's kind of cool. So, what is that? Solarize, oil painting. Lomo, red channel, green channel, blue channel, black and white, and sepia. 
or sepia, however you want. So I'm going to actually back out of this. And I'll scroll. Let's see the text. It gives you options to add text in. Then if you click on that, you can actually change the color of the text. And this is just on the, this is in the stock, uh, stock software that comes with the phone. Sorry if my hand's shaking there. Uh, you got a stamp tool. You can add stamps to the picture. So let's say I want to add a kiss, a red kiss. Put the, <laughs> if you can see there, I put a red kiss in the flower. And you can apply or discard. I'm going to discard. I don't want to kiss on my picture. Uh, brightness and contrast. You got little selectors on the side there, which you can change your brightness and contrast, which is pretty sweet. You know, I uh, spent the time and bought the application, and I didn't even know that that was installed on the phone. So uh, there you have it. A couple more tips and tricks. This has been Michigan Mobile, Droid X, and uh, I'm out till the next time. See you guys.